the Chihuini dog breed is known for being small but mighty. And although the Mexican hot dog is known for being a wee designer dog, you could never convince it of that. This pup believes it is 10 feet tall and his personality reflects that entirely. Courageous, smart, and loving, these pups are mighty indeed. You're watching Animal Facts. The Chihuini has a very recent history as compared to other designer crossbreed canines. The first mix of this breed was completed in the 1990s, a cross between the Mexican Chihuahua and the German Dachshund. The goal with this mix, as with most designer breeds, was to create a pup with the best qualities from each of the two parent breeds. This type of dog is highly desired due to its small size, low maintenance fur, and friendly personality. These little guys sure did inherit the best of both breeds. The Chihuahua is the smallest dog breed in existence. Hailing from the Mexican state of the same name, their lineage dates back to ancient pre-Columbian times. Remains have been discovered that suggest the Chihuahua breed dates back to before 300 BC. Chihuahuas can be highly entertaining and comical, but it's not all fun and games with this breed. Their temperament ranges from calm and sweet to wily and territorial. The Dachshund was bred in Germany to hunt burrowing prey and loves to follow his nose for prey such as rabbits, squirrels, and birds. Clever and stubborn, yet alert and expressive, the Dachshund is ridiculously cute, known for its wiener-shaped body and precious tiny legs. Their personalities, like the Chihuahua, varies from pup to pup. Some are independent and defensive, while others are playful lovers. The mix of these two breeds makes the perfect designer dog, and there's no wonder that the Chihuahua is fastly becoming one of America's most popular mixed breeds. Now that we know the history of the Chihuahua, let's dig a little deeper and really get to know the Mexican hot dog pupper. The Chihuahua's appearance might be small and could look fragile, but you couldn't tell it to these guys. Full of spunk and loads of intelligence, the Chihuahua makes a great family pet and a great entertainer. They are fantastic lap dogs, great with children, and tend to be incredibly affectionate. With that being said, your Chihuahua will most likely require lots of your attention. These guys are prone to jealousy and can be a little stubborn when it comes to training. This is why it's best to give your little one as much attention as you can, especially in their younger years when training is usually easier and preferred. The Chihuahua's activity level is low to moderate. Exercise for your Chihuahua, while still a necessity, as with all other breeds, is not as important for this wee breed. The Chihuahua does great with a 30-minute daily walk or just a romp in an enclosed backyard or space in order to stretch his or her legs. Due to this breed's smaller size, they do great in small apartments or large homes. While the Chihuahua is a great family pet, their tendency to be jealous pups does make having other pets in the house slightly more difficult. But it's not impossible. You will find it much easier to socialize your Chihuahua with other dogs his or her size and similar to their breed. The German Taco can be quite the yapper, especially if they're feeling jealous. You will easily be able to tell if he or she is needing more attention and cuddles. They vocalize their needs with lots of borks as proof. This is not to say all Chihuahuas are noisy. As with just about any pup, it depends on their personality and environment. They can be quite the barker or they can be a little more quiet and tame, depending on the company they keep and their perception of the world that surrounds them. Due to their widely varying personality traits, the Chihuahua can be difficult to train. However, you will find them quite trainable once you make it to their stubborn side. Give them a little time, energy, and loads of patience. Their personality doesn't share much in common with their hunting ancestor, the Dachshund. These little pups are much more like the Chihuahua when it comes to their temperament. They are loyal to a fault, and more times than not, they tend to bond with one member of a family household. They will be most loyal to the chosen one throughout their days. Easy going and happy, the Chihuahua is a perfect dog for small families or even a family of one. The Chihuahua has the long body and munchkin legs of the Dachshund. Their ears can vary, either being the classic long floppy ears of their German ancestor or the sharp pointy ears that we see in the Chihuahua. Colors can vary for this doggo. 
The variety of colors known for the Cholini ranges from black, blonde, tan, brown, and even white. Solid, or a mix of these colors, is common for this breed. Coats tend to be short to medium and glossy, however some can have a more wiry fur texture. Due to the variety of their coats, they are not always hypoallergenic. Although these guys barely shed at all due to the length of their coats, your Chihuini, like most other pets, will require regular bathing despite its overall low-maintenance coat. This energetic mixed breed will require lots of attention when it comes to his or her ears. They are prone to ear infections. Keep your little one's ears nice and clean, but also be mindful not to allow a lot of water into those pointy or floppy ears. Floppy ears do have the most risk of infection, so be vigilant about those ears and keep them clean and dry. In addition to ear infections, the Chihuini is also quite susceptible to knee and back problems. This is due to their shorter stature and small legs. This is why it's best not to overexercise your Chihuini. This breed is known for being quite the digger, which also makes it very important to keep their claws nice and manicured. In addition to the aforementioned health concerns, proper dental maintenance is a must for Chihuinis. They can be very prone to dental deterioration without proper teeth cleaning. Brush those chompers, guys. With the proper care and attention, their lifespans are relatively long. 12 to 16 loving and fun years await you with your pup. While not AKC recognized to date, that doesn't mean the appearance of the Chihuini is lacking. This is due to the fact that they are not purebreds, although they have found recognition from the Designer Dog Kennel Club, the Dog Registry of America, American Canine Hybrid Club, and the Designer Canine Registry. Standing 7 to 9 inches tall on average and weighing in at 5 to 10 pounds average, these guys are anything but lacking, which is a perfect balance between their two parent breeds average sizes. The Chihuahua's head is typically small and dome shaped like the Chihuahua. Although their snouts are usually elongated like the Datsun, their feet are quite small as well, which is seen in both of their parent breeds. No matter what parent breed this little guy takes after, you can bet they will be adorably cute. When it comes to the nutrition of your Chihuini, they tend to become bored with the same daily mundane diet. It's important to discuss with your veterinarian and tailor make a diet to fit their personal needs. Since they are small dogs, they do not require a lot of food. However, you will find that variation in vet approved prudes will be best for their breed. Both of the ancestor breeds are known for loving to eat. This makes them at risk for being obese, which can introduce a world of related health problems. Be sure that you're not overfeeding your little one and keep an eye on the treat count. We know they're too cute and deserve those extra little goodies. Try to refrain from the cuteness and watch his or her diet closely. The Chihuini requires lots of fresh water and due to their small size, it's recommended that you also have a water supply with you during exercise times. I know you may be saying to yourself, is the Chihuini right for me? The answer to this really depends on the amount of attention you have to spare for a pup. Chihuinis are characters with a personality all their own. They're not perfect and since they tend to be stubborn, many of these guys are found in shelters. So ask yourself, are you willing to become a forever friend? Chihuinis find themselves very attached to their owners, so it breaks their heart to be abandoned. So be ready to take on this breed entirely if you decide to home a Chihuini. If you are willing to give this pup what he or she requires, it'll be a match made in heaven. Hey, thanks for hanging with us. If animals are your thing, you can check out more here. Go ahead and smash that like button. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? And as always, Catch you next time.